M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got the Retivis RT3S here in front of us. The reason I've got the box here so you can see this radio is because I can't dim the screen on the RT3S, which is this one here, okay? Now, this Retivis RT3S is running the OpenGD77 firmware, and I can dim the screen, so that's why it's in the image. I can even make it go black and white. So yes, with the RT3S, the normal screen, you get this nice blue screen and colored logos, but you can't, there's a lot you can't do. If you get the radio and you just want to use it out of the box, you can hardly use it. You really, you have to sort of use programming software. Yes, you can manually add a channel into it, but it's very long winded, whether it's digital or analog. Yes, you can add zones and contacts again, long winded and, um, but once you do connect this, the RT3S to software, co-plug, and you get all your co-plug energy, talk groups, channels, you know, everything you would do. You can't put a big CSV file in there, but you could make a bespoke one for about 120,000 contacts. Then it's okay. I'd say it's a nice radio, good quality radio, and it works fine. Good audio, good, you know, good reports from people you're talking to, and the functionality is fine. You know, you've got the... The, the back button, I suppose the red button, the green for entry, PTT feels firm and solid. And it's a nice, you know, nice antenna, good device, very pleased with it. And if it wasn't for the fact that I have this alternative, which is this GD77 firmware update, which is, you know, partly similar to the old tools that you used to get with the MD380s, although that was a 70 centimeter or just two meter radio. So why do I like the... Let's go over to the OpenGD77. It's pretty obvious that that's the one I like. So again, like any 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 system, there's a learning curve to everything. So the menu here is here. The radio does talk to you. I'll turn that down. You've got radio info, GPS, satellite mode, last heard. And if we go down and choose my zone, we can choose hubnet. We can use the choose the different zones that you can have. If you go to hotspots, so I'm on my hotspot now. Now, if I want to manual dial now, I just push hash, type in the number, press the green, and when I key, the, the hotspot's off at the moment. I'm just booting up, actually. When I key, it will switch. It's, it's actually that simple. If you want to type VFO frequency, just push that, you're in VFO, and then you just type your frequency. There's no messing around like with the RT3S to get it into VFO mode, you have to put it into MR mode, whatever MR stands for. Then you hold down the red button on that radio. You hold down the red button and suddenly it appears with a with a you know with a V. And I just I just find it very faffy. But this one, you know, if I want to go look at anything at all, it's very straightforward. You go menu, if I want to go to my contacts. There's my contacts. I mean, there's not many in here at the moment. FM DTMF contacts, not done that one. So you can preset DTMF. Look, you can create a contact straight away. Everything can be created very easily. Firmware info, language, ops, have a look at options. Uh, let's have a look, radio options. Start at the top. So there's all your squelch. I'm oh, talking of squelch. Watch this. So squelch. We're in FM mode. Hold down the arrow there. Squelch. Going up. Go back. You want the power. Press what I call the function button. Power. And it will take it down to 50 milliwatts and then up to 5 watts. Display options. Now, brightness. You can't turn the brightness up and down on the RT3S. Watch this. Oh, that's the minimum brightness. Go up one. Brightness. We actually can do the brightness. And, and we can even invert the colour. I've got it dim quite low because we're on the radio. So colour invert. Turn the channel knob. Goes black and white. Now, I think that they're developing this all the time. The RT3S has only had OpenGD77 for... You know, I think six months. So keep an eye out on their website, OpenGD77.com. Battery percentage. Sound options. 
all your different beeps, FM mic, prompt. I mean, there's even a scan, a uh, band scan. Let's back out. When you're in VFO mode, hold down. Look, we're scanning the band. I mean, this is a 90 pound radio menu. When you've got your GPS location and everything sorted, you can track using this radio, you can track satellites. You do need to enter the correct, you know, the correct things. You need a GPS lock if you're going to do it via GPS. But you can enter manual coordinates. Channel details, so it just tells you everything. I'll do channel details. This is everything my radio is on right now, okay? Let's back out. Firmware info. It's just all there at the touch of a finger. Now, you either like it or you don't, this kind of black and white image. Let's go menu. Keep going, looking at different things. Last heard. See if I can get my DMR radio to work. So we'll go hash, 9-1, start, and then we'll go M0 FXB test, M0 FXB test. And see that there's a signal meter. See the signal meter? Uh, good morning, Andreas. Uh, I'm 0 FXB, VK4 DHL. You're making it OK. Over. VK4 DHL. There you are, Australia. VK4 DHL. Yeah, very nice to hear you. Nice and clear. On my RT7, on my RT3S using the OpenGD77 firmware. Sounding excellent. Back to you. And we're, that's Australia, and I just turned this on. Yeah, okay. Sounding okay. Uh, being, um, uh, various, uh, I trust you're still making all these nice videos <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, I catch up with them occasionally. Uh, yeah. Very good information, so uh, keep, keep on the good work. Uh, all the best. Like Zero FXB, VK40 HL. M0 FXB, yeah, always am, and uh, I'm actually making one right now as we test this radio. Quick question, uh, what radio, before you go, what radio are you using today, and how are you getting into Talk Group 91? Then we'll stand by, M0 FXB. I'm using DB switch. I'm using the HTML client uh, through the DB switch, a Raspberry Pi server. There, go ahead. Yeah, I've got DV switch. I've got an SD card and a Raspberry Pi there. Just I just turn it on and everything has been set up already. It works great. I've never used it via the server method, although I did try and set that up once and put some settings in. Now I'm trying to think if I did it via my all-star node, but what I have used regard that has a server is Blue DV. I've got a DV stick. I put that into my computer, run the little server by uh, PA7LIM. And then I can just add any app, any Blue DV app to my Android devices and, and walk around the house. So it's great fun, isn't it? Well, thanks for the test. Thanks very much for the contact. M0FXB. So there you are, 7-3. Thanks for watching my channel.